Hey, DJ Hoppe here from the DJCoach.com here to bring you another video, this time on how we can use two controllers inside of Juiced at the same time so that I can control all four decks. This is going to be fun. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I want to use four decks? What can I even use decks three and four for? Well, I'm going to show you today a couple of ways that we can use three and four and how beneficial it is to be able to have that laid out on a controller like the P32. This thing is awesome. And combining this with this DJ Control Impulse 500 or whatever controller you're using to be able to control Juiced is honestly a game changer. So definitely, if you're looking to take your skills to the next level and take your rig to the next level, keep watching. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how I can enable the Dex 3 M4. So if I drop down here to where my view mode is, instead of two deck horizontal, I can click on two deck horizontal plus two samplers. We can do that. Or you can go to four decks horizontal, you can do that as well. But let's use the two samplers here. So what this will bring up is this will bring up three and four. And you'll notice that they look different than the actual decks themselves. So I've got four columns for each one of these. And this is step one, is to set it up in this way. You'll still be able to mix with decks one and two, but now you're gonna be able to add sound effects, you're gonna be able to add loops, and all of that inside of three and four, and just add layers to what you're doing. Step two, we want to be able to get music into the sampler. So you could drag each individual sample in if you wanted to, and I could go here to all samples and take this Allure drums and drag this one sample in, and I could build it out that way. Or what I could do is I could go to a sample pack and just drag the entire sample pack in. So if I drag this new disco thing in, it basically created 16 slots that it populated, all with samples that will go together as a part of a pack. Now, you might be wondering, well, where can I get these packs? Where are they? Where, where can I access them? All I see is the demo packs. Well, if you head on over to juice.com, you'll see a tab where you can download sample packs. And there's a whole bunch of them, different genres, all containing different sample sounds, stuff from one-shot sounds to, you know, like sound effects, like a one-shot sound effect, like a siren or something like that, to drum sounds, to even loops and instrument loops that all work together. So I highly recommend doing that. I've, I just went ahead and downloaded almost all of them. I think I did download all of them actually. All right, now we're gonna plug in our P32. Now you see that I got a stand for this. I'm using a laptop stand for it just so it's a little bit higher and it's you know all sort of contained in this way. You could also put it next to you if you want. Get to a place where it's comfortable, but obviously you're basically gonna set up two controllers. And once I plug so it in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. It will recognize it here inside the software. We're good to go. All right, I'm gonna come over to the settings and now we have to go down to this part that says mapping. I'm going to map the P32 DJ right here. We're gonna MIDI map this. I go ahead and hit next. And what I want is I want this right here, P32 DJ deck three and four control. I wanna use my P32 to control these decks. Now there's other options as well, but I really wanna focus on this. This is already a mapping that's made. So then I hit okay, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And now we are good to go. This P32 is ready to control decks three and four. So now that we've got it connected, you can see that as I move my volume fader of what is deck three, that is happening inside of my software. Same thing with deck four. And what you'll also notice is that the crossfader doesn't do anything, right? So the crossfader is still controlled on my DJ Control Impulse 500, which is what I want. That's where the audio is actually coming from. So the audio is coming from my Impulse 500. I'm just using the P32 as a MIDI controller. I have not even plugged in the RCA outs out of this thing. We're not using it as a sound card. We are just using it as a MIDI control. The other things that you'll notice are all of my EQs for my channel three and also for deck four or channel four, that all of that is working and is mapped to the P32, which is awesome. Even the effects, all of these effects uh, knobs and encoders and these buttons are working. So if I wanted to set up an effect here, I now have a knob for it that I can control directly here. Also, I wanna point this out, that my headphone cue will still work as well. Like I can select headphone cue and listen to what I would be able to hear inside of my cue. So if I were to cue this up um, and we get a beat going here, I can hear this in my cue. 
My headphones are plugged into the DJ Control Impulse 500, not the P32. Right, so we've got a little loop here. This is just a bunch of kick drums. We can add to it. Now you can have one of each channel happening at the same time. As soon as I hit another one in this column, it's gonna change up. And then to stop everything, I hold shift and I hit the ones that I wanna stop. Now, there are different types of sounds. So let's go back in here and there's different types of samples I can use. The behavior is what makes them a little bit different and unique as well. So if I were to take like the kicks and instead of this being a loop, I wanted to create this to be a one shot, I can come over here and I can change the behavior of this. So instead of this be triggering a loop, I could just be toggling a loop or um, a gated loop all of these different options you've got to figure out how you want to use them and so um, some of the most common ones here is on the right side I've got samples that I'm using as one shots so things like or uh, a drum a kick drum like I was talking about Right? And so these sounds are things that I can add on on top of me playing. So if I'm DJing here. Right? So you can use these however you want. You can have a ton of fun with this. You can also load in your own samples as well. So it doesn't have to be in the form of a pack. You could take something that's maybe your DJ name and be able to load that in and now you've got your DJ name loaded into your pack. In fact, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take this DJ Hoppa ID and I'm going to replace the flare with that. So once I do, now what we hear is... DJ Hopper. There we go. So we've got that. And I want to make sure that the behavior is correct. D DJ Hopper. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the setting. And instead of this being gate, play while pressed, stops when released, I'm going to go ahead and look at the way that the sub is because I like the way the sub works. So that's a trigger. Play when pressed, restarts from the beginning when pressed again. That's the behavior that I want. And you can see there's all these different behaviors. I don't want this to loop because this isn't a loop. This is a one shot. So I want to switch this over to trigger. You'll also notice I can change the name of this. So I can call this just DJ Hoppa ID. Instead, I can change the color of it. We can make it green. We can do all sorts of things. OK and OK. So there we go. Now we can see it. So now when I hit this, DJ Hoppa, DJ, DJ Hoppa. Nice. Now if I want to save this as a pack, I can do that as well. So if I come on over here and I hit this little uh, icon right here. It's going to ask me if I want to save this as a sample pack name, and I can call this Hapa Best Pack Ever. All right, there we go. So that's now my sample pack, Best Pack Ever. And so if I want to recall that, like let's say I wanted to do a different pack. So I go to Sampler. I'll load like a different demo pack, like this Trance Pack. And then I'm like, ah, I want my sample pack. So I go over to Sample Pack, and I look for Hapa Best Pack Ever. Load it up. There we go with my DJ Hoppa ID. DJ Hoppa. Awesome. Now let me show you how we can put it together and have a ton of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just going to mess around for a little bit and I'll see you on the next one.